Hey guys, uh, Magi fifteen twenty two. I hope I did the intro all right. I hope I clicked it at the right time. But welcome back to my channel. Uh, remember, if you like the content, please like and subscribe. There'll be more content like this coming on. I have a story already. I'm off you two uh, going, so we're gonna continue on that. I will try my best to keep it for YouTube purposes. Not gonna lie, I might do a little bit behind the scenes. Um, let's say I want to thank my good friend Ari for getting me the, the game. I was about to break back a baby, like I said. But anyways, um, how's everybody today? Let's get to this. We're gonna go to story mode. See, we could do new, but I already started, right? So why would we do new when I already started on one? So it's gonna load us in. Simple loading time. Um, this one should come out after the American Truck Simulator. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it like that because American Truck Simulator was first. It was going on. I did do this, I was gonna do farming, but turns out I don't have nothing to do on farming, so I said no. Okay, let's go get changed and let's answer that. We're going for a job, so let's take Tommy too. What do you want? Leave me alone. Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? Mama. I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, bye, Mama. Hey, what? Hey, turn that down in there! If you don't turn that crap down, I'm gonna call the cops! Empire Bade. Actually, I'm gonna turn the radio. Yeah, since you get all the games, you get this car, Nano car, uh, even the uh, Mafia one. It's still too loud. Empire Bay. Okay, let's go. Oh, 
Oh shoot. Empire Bade. Empire. Do like a couple missions. Oh, close the door. It's windy. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papolato. Oh, yeah? Why? My name is Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayado at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well, you all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. Uh, follow me. pile of crates under that truck when you're done you get 10 bucks if something gets lost or broken you get nothing start now and don't take all day This is gonna be a lot of fun. Who the fuck wants to move boxes around all goddamn day? Screw it, I had enough. Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. 
and you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. Don't show your face around here again. Yeah, don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait, you said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit. Nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. I like how it loaded. I'll be loaded two crates, and then I give up. Like that's fucking shit ass. Shit ass work. Actually, this is gonna be nine eight. What uh, now? It's gonna be an 18 plus. Like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who want to load crates if he works with Joe? You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. He doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> My mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Uh, hey, it's better than lugging crates around. All right, then. Get going. collect the fee for the barber. Hey, what kind of game you playing here? The kind where you pay what you owe when you don't get hurt. You got a problem with that? I got a problem with you. Now get out of here before I kick your ass. Come on! Come on! Here's your fucking money. Yeah, glad you decided to reconsider. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Uh, yeah. I must have forgot or something. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. Hey, Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Sure, here it is. I don't want no problems. Don't leave it until the last minute next time. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try, then, asshole? Yeah! Teach him a fucking lesson! <laughs> Come on. Okay. Anybody else got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? Damn. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I got this guy already. This guy already paid. This guy already paid. This guy already paid. I got his money already. Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watched you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. 
Right, Steve? Yeah, right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. And say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, will do. I'll see you later. Vito, I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's. See what the next mission takes us, how long it takes us. After that, I might just uh, call it. No! the hubcap. However, I don't care if there's no cars. The game's kind of glitchy sometimes. They made it kind of glitchy. As soon as you called, what's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit? Yeah. We're done with the small-time jobs. It's time to make some real shuttle. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? How are you, Joe? This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of Good mine. Good to meet you, Henry. Vouch for him. Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen. I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. They're worth the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? Why?
the car. Okay, let's go. And take it easy behind the wheel, all right? I seen the way you kids drive these days. All right, kid. The place is locked up pretty tight at night, so you gotta get into the back. They keep the back door open at night? No, but the basement window usually is, so that's how you can get in. You're looking for the safe, right? Yeah, how'd you know? Lucky guess. It's on the top floor. So's the director's office. That's where the keys are. Okay. So I go in through a window around the back, then head upstairs to the director's office, right? Right. And be careful, there's guards in there at night. Don't let them see you. Alright kid, drop me at the hospital right here. The office is across the street. Okay, thanks for the ride kid. Thanks Maria, I'll see you. around back and I think I will be done for the night for today and uh, we'll leave off what we left off later get us to the back over here Okay, guys, this is where I'm going to leave it. Uh, next, we'll, uh, we'll do this mission. Uh, sorry for the short uh, video, but I got to go to work. Um, everyone, you have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Stay safe.